Hi, you guys. My name is Emily Burgess, and I'm really excited about this topic I get to speak on for the Diamonds in December 2023. This is something that I'm really passionate about because this is like the simple everyday behavior and activity that we need to be doing to create a strong business. I'm passionate about this because I'm not a fancy person. I am not real great at social media. I'm not great at growing my network, um, but I've gotten to where I am because I've done these simple tasks consistently with passion and belief for seven years. And that's what took me to the top of the company and what I deeply and passionately believe can get anybody to the top of this company. So when you are looking at having a strong business with Plexus, you want to look at what is that foundation? What are the essentials that I need to be doing? What's the foundation, the strongest foundation I need to have to have a strong business? And so we call that the four pillars. Pillar one is you need to have a strong pillar of recruiting. Then pillar two is retaining. Pillar three is duplication. And pillar four is leadership. So as I'm sitting here thinking, okay, if that's what I need to have a strong foundation, I wanna break that down. What does that look like to be a strong recruiter, retainer, duplicator, and leader? So what we do is we look at recruiting. How do you recruit well? Well, you show up on social media, you share what you're learning, you share your experience, you share my experience, but you're just educating on social media. You're connecting with people on social media. You're adding value to people. You're seeing people, you're loving people. Another way, a really important way to recruit is to invite people, reaching out to people, following up with people, add tag and message people with your follow-ups. Those are some of the simple ways that you can grow a strong recruiting pillar. The second pillar is retaining. How do you retain? You provide excellent customer care. And, I, and I'm saying all of these things knowing, like nobody comes in knowing how to do all these things well. So I'm listing these out. Um, with the hope that you are taking notes of like, okay, this is what I need to be focusing on. These are areas I can grow in. Don't think, oh gosh, I don't know how to do any of these things. Start one thing at a time. So with your retaining, you're providing excellent customer care. You're helping your customer have a really great experience by troubleshooting, by dripping belief, by plugging them into a community, by seeing them, by showing gratitude to them. Um, another way to retain people is to help them get some money in their pockets so they can pay for their products. And so that transitions us to the duplication pillar. So how do you duplicate? Well, you grow in your skill set, you drip belief into other people of what this could be for them, what this could be for you. You're sharing stories on social media. You are also hosting events where you're sharing about the opportunity. You are, um, helping that customer who's had a really great experience. You're helping them by maybe hosting a wellness party where they invite a couple of friends. You're hosting a sip and seat. Um, you're helping your people start the recruiting and retaining process that you are working on with your pillar. So again, reminder, when you recruit well, that's by you showing up on social media, you inviting people. That's what you're teaching your people to do. So what you've done, you can duplicate that down. The fourth pillar is on leadership. How do you have a strong pillar of leadership? You're doing a lot of personal growth. You are doing training. You're growing in your skill set. You are taking ownership of your business um, and you're stretching yourself. You're stretching yourself to do things that you know you need to do that may be a little bit uncomfortable. So that those are just a full few bullet points on how to have a strong foundation. So now as we sit here and we evaluate, what does that look like? How do I do this? How do I do this every day? That's what I get to talk to you about. Those are your non, non negotiables, your essentials. These are ways that you take ownership over your business. And so some of the ways that have been really helpful for me that I hope will help you is to map out what you are doing, when you are doing them, who you're doing them with, who you are doing them for and, and why you are doing this. So uh, if I were you, I would take out every Sunday, I would take out your calendar, I have my calendar right here. Take out your calendar and write out who are the people that you are going to be reaching out to this week, as in your new reach outs, your follow-ups, the people that you wanna connect with on social media that have nothing to do with Plexus, you are just connecting, you're adding value to them. Uh, you're gonna write out when you are going to be doing your Plexus business because if you, um, are just kind of waiting to see what the day, like how the day unfolds, 
if you even give time at all to your plexus business, more than likely it's going to be at the end of the day, or you're not going to have the focus, the energy to put forth like just passion and belief into what you're doing. So you've got to map out and prioritize when you're going to sit down and do your business. You don't have to work 10, 12, 14 hours a day to have a successful business here. But what you do have to do is you do need to be really focused on those non-negotiables that you are working on in that space where you're helping that foundation of your business be strong through recruiting, retaining, duplication, and leadership. So um, some suggestions that I have would be find somebody who is going at the same speed as you, who has similar goals um, and is actually showing up to their work. Now, I'm not saying you, you're a gold ambassador and Sally Jo over here, she's been a gold ambassador for years and years and years and she says she wants to be, become a diamond, but her actions are not matching up with her words. That's not who I want you to go with. I want you to go with, with Sally, Susan <laughs> over here who says that she wants to be a diamond and she is showing up to her business. She is showing up every single day. You see her coming to the team calls. You see her sharing on social media. You see that she's adding people to her team. That's who I want you to run with. Um, for me, when I got connected with my power partners, they were challenging me. They still are to this day, challenging me to show up and to be a stronger leader and to not just like slough off not to take the easy route, but to show up because they're showing up. So I want you to find somebody that you can link arms with. Maybe when you've linked arms with them, you guys can do daily power hours where you guys invite some friends in who are also running the business and you guys are connecting and maybe you guys are doing like 10 minutes of birthdays and connections on social media and then 15 minutes of um, reaching out and following up and then 15 minutes of... Um, I don't know, customer care where you are uh, checking in on your customers, maybe some mentoring where you're dripping some belief into your happy customers, maybe offering to, to share and help them with, with a wellness party. Um, you can do that type of like focused work where you're working on the social, the inviting, the following up, the customer care, all of those things that create a really strong foundation. So maybe do a daily power hour where you guys meet up every single day. I've got women on my team who wake up at six in the morning and they connect with one another from one side of the country all the way to the other and they connect via Zoom and they hold each other accountable. Speaking of accountability, maybe you could do like a weekly accountability group with those women who are running with you and you guys connect every, we do it every Monday night where you can talk through uh, the, the reach outs that you've had, what's worked, um, maybe the post that you had that created some interest and then how you followed up with that person and how you sealed the deal with this person. But just having maybe even like, okay, this is, a, this is something I'm struggling with, let's talk through some solutions. Like just very forward moving, focusing on what's working, the wins, taking ownership over your business. So, so maybe, maybe something like that. Um, making sure that you are remembering why you are here, why you are doing these um, non-negotiables with your reaching out, your following up, your social media, uh, your customer care, your leadership training. Why are you doing that? Because the thing is, in the beginning of your business, you're going to be working a lot more than what your paycheck is showing, more than likely. But that's just phase one of network marketing. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where your work and your paycheck are matching. But eventually, if you keep going, you will get to a point where your paycheck far exceeds what you're doing with your work. You're still working. You're not just living off the land. Like You're still working. But you will get to that point where you are not looking at a paycheck and your hours that you're putting in and being like, this doesn't look right, this doesn't feel right. I promise if you stick with it, it will. Um, so those are some of the things that I have seen help tremendously. Take ownership of your business. We hear the beloved Brittany Howard always making the comment of your name is on your paycheck. It's not your upline, it's not your downline, your name is on your paycheck. So step into that leadership, take on that ownership, see the gaps in your business and fill them, whether that is through, like I mentioned, power hours with like-minded people, uh, accountability group, uh, hosting events for your, your people, getting uncomfortable and opening your home every month for sip and sees. But be growing in your skill set. Be growing and doing these things with excellence, with a focus of why you're showing up. Um, 
it's going to be really, really beneficial for you and for your team and for the people that you're doing this for, your family and your loved ones. You guys have a great evening and happy holidays. Merry Christmas.